<laughs> Hello YouTube and what is up? I'm back for the first time in a few months and I'm going to tell you guys exactly what's going on with me, the YouTube channel, and basically just clear a few things up that I feel are necessary to clear up. But first things first, I just want to say this, throw it right out there at the start of the video, and that is that this channel is not over. In the past few months I've been extremely busy and I've just not found the time to be able to create videos of an acceptable quality. Now I've tried a few but I wasn't happy with them so I just scrapped them. And what I'm hoping to do in the extremely near future is start producing more videos on a regular basis. I'm just sorting some stuff out right now so you know I need to find out my sh Basically, I'm, I've got two jobs now, I need to find out my shifts around those, because they keep changing, I need to get something firm. And then there's all the sixth form work I've got, it's my last year, that's the equivalent of college, if you don't know. And it's pretty tough to be fair, but this channel's not over. Um, another thing that I wanted to clear up was this. PlayStation Vita, I have got rid of my PlayStation Vita. With me, the system, it was a brilliant system, it was honestly amazing, it's just Sony did not and have not proven to me that it's worth my time or money. Now, I, I know that I love playing PS1 games and the PSP games on the system, that was mainly what I did with it. And there were a few indie games on that system that were particularly good, for example, Rotating Octopus. HD, whatever it was, uh, that was amazing. I love that game. But with me and the Vita, the main things I used the system for was PSP games like GTA, but they were 100% completed, so I was running out of things to do. And the other thing was the PS1 games. And I love PS1 games, but I've got them on the PS3, so I needed the money anyway. That is kind of why I sold it as well. But uh, something quite interesting that I managed to do with my system was hack it. That is right, I kept it on, uh, what was it? I think the firmware I kept it on was 3.10, I'm not too sure. But it was 3. Point something, I think. And then I just um, got an exploit. I had to buy some magic game. Uh, it was pretty cool. Because what it allowed me to do was put any PS1 or PSP game on my system. And I even got the cheat device working for the Grand Theft Auto games, which was something I was particularly proud of. And um, let's just say that was a lot of fun. It brought back a lot of memories of the PSP days for me. But that's gone now. And what I'm going to focus on is creating stories about gaming news. What I've noticed with my videos is they're all over the place. From now, I'm going to set a main focus on giving you guys my opinion on gaming news, gaming, just the world of gaming, my opinions on it. And it's going to be up to date and relevant rather than, you know, um, a game from six years ago that I'm playing right now just because I enjoy it. None of that stuff is going to come back. This is a reform of my channel and it changes from here. But anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to say. Please forgive me, my voice is a bit strange today because <clears throat> I've got a cold, but that'll be fixed by the next video, I'm hoping. But yeah, thank you for watching, please like, comment and subscribe, thank you so much for the support this far, I really, really, really do appreciate it. But anyway guys, I'm going to go now, so thank you once again, and I'll see you all next time, so take care and goodbye.